what's up peeps welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to tell you guys why i quit my amazon job i you know really loved working there it was just a few things that i didn't like and i came across you know just some things i'll tell you guys later in the video but before we get started i just want to give a disclaimer excuse how i'm looking how my hair is looking i actually just left the gym and i am on this little weight loss journey and you know doing keto and it's just a mess but i'm trying to keep up with it um if you want to follow my weight loss journey definitely subscribe because i'll be posting like before and afters and also like my workouts and what i eat in the day and things like that i'll just start vlogging about you know my you know normal life you know if you guys are interested also excuse this huge pimple that i have i don't know what's going on with that but anyway back to what you guys came here for so I started working at Amazon in December of 2020 um, and I recorded, you know, my day in the life of working at Amazon and I actually, although I recorded that video in the winter, I just posted it like a month ago and I had no idea that it would get so much attention. Like I literally got I think like over almost 7,000 views just in a month. So I felt like I needed to, you know, explain, you know, why I'm not working there anymore because you guys are probably thinking I still work there because I just posted it a month ago. But in reality, you know, I'm not. So I just want to say I think Amazon is a great company and definitely I would go back if I if I could or if I wanted to. I really loved working there. However, if you guys didn't see my other video, I think maybe it was the video where I was like explaining why I don't Sorry, I thought that was a bug. <laughs> I thought it was another video where I said, you know, why I started at Amazon. But if you didn't see that video, I actually worked in logistics for over eight years. My last position in logistics was a fleet manager. And due to COVID, I lost my job and I took a little break off work, just lived off my savings. And then I was like, you know what? My savings is, you know, getting a little low. So I decided to go ahead and work for Amazon. And although it was a huge pay decrease, um, you know, I didn't want to work in stressful jobs anymore. So Amazon was a job that I heard that was pretty stress-free, definitely compared to working in the office environment, which is what I was used to. So to me, Amazon was like a piece of cake and I really, really liked it there. I love the culture. Everyone was so nice. I really never had a bad experience there. Um, I love the flexibility. I love being able to, you know, choose your schedule. I love, you know, how many off days you're, you know, given as soon as you work there as the, from day one you know you, you're given vacation days um you're giving sick your sick time um also they give you um opportunities to just take the day off without pay at all so i love that part um also the work itself it was pretty easy um even in covid like i felt like it was pretty safe to work there the reason why i decided to quit is because like i said it was a huge pay decrease from what i was work uh working in logistics and i think that the pay was 16 65 an hour at amazon and i was used to making 60k plus so that was a huge factor into why i chose to you know leave i never thought it would be like a long-term job anyway um so I quit, but before, I knew I didn't want to go back into logistics because I was just so stressed. And now the way that I live my life, I live my life in a way that now, since I got laid off from my job um, in logistics, 
and I took about a year off work, I'm like, you know what? This is so much peace. I'm not stressed out anymore. I no longer care about how much money I make. If I have to be stressed every single day, I don't want that job. Like, forget about the money. My happiness is more important. And I love the flexibility because I'm trying to start my own business, which is interior design. So I'm like, you know, I need a job that is pretty flexible. Although Amazon was flexible, what I decided to do was Uber Eats. And I always kind of like thought of Uber Eats and like DoorDash. I never tried DoorDash or anything, but only Uber Eats. And I always just thought, you know, it was just little money for maybe a college student or, you know, someone in high, high school maybe. But I just never thought you can make good money doing it. And I was shocked. So when I was working at Amazon, I actually took the weekend off. So I had that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So I spent the entire three days pretty much probably for like 12 hours a day. So you can say about 36 hours I worked between those three days, which is what I was working um, at Amazon. I would work um, three days a week, 12 hour shifts, which is 36 hours. So the same amount of time that I worked doing Uber is the same amount of time I did doing Amazon. And you guys will not believe how much money I made. Let me just do the calculations really quick because um, I have my uh, second phone right here. So let's just say, um, and also I wanted to mention too, Amazon offers a lot of overtime, so keep that into consideration. But I'm just going to give you the math of what it is just to work your normal 36 hours. So $16.65 times 36 a week. So if you guys can see, that is so basically 600 So $600 a week. Now, let me show you guys how much I did um, doing Uber. So this was just three days, guys. And I know it's probably backwards, but if it is backwards, I'll tell you. It says I made $2,856.40. I cannot make that up. So I have been doing... This was in March, by the way. That was March 1st. It's now that now that I'm recording. Um, right now it's um August 5th. But I that's the most I've ever made in one week. And if you guys want to know how, definitely subscribe. I'll make sure I post a video about more about Uber Eats. But um I would say the least I've ever made um, doing Uber Eats in just three days was probably like $1,200, but I've never made anything less than $1,200 a week. Like you can make so much money and just remind you, that's only three days. So if you are doing that multiple days, you can totally do that as well. Like you can make so much money as long as you have, you know, a car, even if you don't have a car, you can even rent a car. If you guys want all those details, definitely subscribe for more. But I just want to end this video saying that shout out to Amazon. I love that company. I left on good terms and I can go back whenever I want. And, you know, I think it's a great company. I recommend Amazon to anyone. However, if you want to make some real money, you have to either be an Amazon corporate or maybe an Amazon manager or just be an Amazon warehouse associate and work your way up. But that is going to take many, many years. And even then, I don't even know if there's like a cap. Like what if they say the most you can make is like 20 an hour? Like, I don't know. But um. If you want to make some good money now, as long as you got a driver's license, you can do Uber 
like I said, if you don't have a car, they will rent you a car. And if you want more details, definitely subscribe and I'll tell you guys. But anyway, I am going to get out of here, guys. Go home, take a shower. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>